Hey guys, just a quick one. Seem to be making so many videos of late, but so much coming out, so much to do, so little time. This is just a quick update regarding the Michael Vaughan investigation. Remember at the press conference recently, Chief Huff said time was running out for two individuals. They named as suspects. They've got reason to believe were involved in Michael's abduction and death. Brandon Shirtleaf and Adrian Lucien. And Police Chief Huff said, time's running out, come and talk to us voluntarily. And it has been reported that law enforcement have made contact with these two individuals. Listen to a clip from this news report. Fruitland police say they have made contact with the men who may have information about Michael's remains. Last week, they asked for the public's help locating 30-year-old Brandon Shirtliff uh, of CUNA and 32-year-old Adrian Lucien of Toledo, Ohio. That is Lucien there, and then that is Shirtliff. Both men were staying at the home of Sarah and Stacy Wandra at, uh, on Red Wing Street when Michael disappeared back in July of 2021. Fruitland police say they are working closely with the Payette County prosecutor as they continue to investigate. So hopefully these two guys sing like little birds. I hope their tune is melodious and fruitful and informational. And if they do know exactly what happened to Michael, I hope they say so. I hope they make a full and frank confession if indeed they're involved or they know exactly what happened in order to strike a plea bargain. Cassie. You're not allowed in there, it's private property. And I hope that if the cops can prove that they had something to do with it, were involved in it, and they cage those little birds. I don't normally like to see animals in cages. But when you're talking about child abductors and murderers, these are animals of the worst possible kind. And they need to be caged. They need to be ended. They're saying, we know nothing about it. We know nothing about it. Ugh, I can just imagine it. But hopefully, hopefully this is very good news for Michael's investigation. It's one step closer to justice for Michael Vaughan. And if it's true that Michael's body was moved, they searched the neighbor's yard. Furland police also announced today that they searched the backyard of a home next to the Wandras on Red Wing Street, but say they found no indication that Michael had been there. Police previously searched the home of Sarah and Stacy Wandra. This is video while that search was going on. They believe that Michael's body was dumped in the yard of the Wandras house, 1102 Red Wing Street. Police Chief J.D. Huff says he is confident Michael's remains were on the Wandra's property but were moved. Sarah Wandra is currently charged with failing to notify the coroner of a death. However, Michael's body has not been found at this point. So, Brandon and Adrian, what do you know about that? What is she doing in there? You're not allowed in there. It's private property. It belongs to that house over there. You're not allowed in that field. If I could afford it, I'd buy that house. That house is worth a lot of money. Way more money than I've got. You think he was moved? So, Brandon, Adrian, what do you know about that? Were you involved in that? Sing like little birds. Bring Michael some justice. Bring Michael some justice. Where's she gone again? Is she gone in that field again? Cassie. Oh, she's on the manure pile. I don't mind about that. She goes home smelling like a farmyard every day, but I don't actually mind that. You're not going back in there. You're not allowed. For those new to the channel, or channels, 
as this will be out on Michelle Walk. These fields, these fields, these are farmer's fields, but there's public rights of way all through them. So that's why I walk on them and, and stuff. I'm not harming a crop, because can't you see here? This is ploughed, there's manure in this. This is fallow for the winter. Nothing of importance in this. So yes, I deviate off the paths. Farmer doesn't really mind. He lives over, like, over that way, about two miles away. Caging his little chickens. He has his chicken operation. That's his main source of income. Uh, yeah, so that's the story. But when it's a private property like that, you can't go running about in it. You can't go willy-nilly through people's yards and fields. But when you've got public footpath, public access, that's been here, right? Path up there, up the top of that ridge up there, right? That is an old Roman road. That road has taken Roman soldiers from what is now Walton Summit, near Preston, on the River Ribble, there, all the way to what is now Wigan. Romans had a different name for it, Cockium. Uh, and there was a fort there. So they would bring their supplies from the mouth of the Ribble, one march it to the fort, Cockium. And then beyond that, the fort at Manchester. So there you go. So we have rights, guys. Know your rights. Know your rights. Anyway, I digress. I'll see you very soon in the next video.